Greetings and welcome. I'm Samuel Gladden. I am the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development here at the University of New Orleans. It's my pleasure to showcase, highlight, and celebrate the great work of our students and our faculty. And today, we're going to highlight work that a student and one of our faculty have done in collaboration. That's one of the most exciting things about coming to UNO is the opportunity for students to work with faculty on projects that are meaningful to both and that have great potential to be great successes, not just on campus, but out in the world. And you'll hear about that in just a moment. So today I want to uh, welcome Professor Dan Rule, who is a professor in our fine arts program in the School of the Arts here in our college, and student Alex Real. Alex is a senior majoring in the film and theater program specializing in film. Alex is also a Tolmas scholar, a designation and an honor that gives students a special opportunity to work with uh, professors. In a moment, we're going to talk about a short animated film that Alex and Professor Rule have created together, which is going to be featured at the New Orleans Film Festival. The winner in this category of the New Orleans Film Festival will be submitted to the Academy Awards for consideration for an Oscar. Just imagine coming to UNO as a student, working with faculty, producing fantastic work, which you'll see a bit of in a few minutes, and having the opportunity to compete literally on the world's stage. There are a few things more exciting than that. So with that, Alex, I wanna start with you. Tell us a bit about yourself. How did you get to UNO? What drew you to UNO? And what does it mean to be a Tolma scholar? Uh, so initially, uh, when I first applied to UNO, um, definitely what drew me in was, uh, the, was the fine arts program. Um, I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed the fact that it was uh, that it had an animation focus. And uh, I think that one of the main people that did help me uh, sort of see that was uh, Dan, uh, because I remember meeting Dan on a uh, on a tour and, you know, just wanting to, you know, take classes with him and everything. Um, and then, uh, you know, from there, I did more classes with him, did more work with him. Uh, you know, and he's, uh, he's definitely taught me a lot. And then up until the point where uh, I had applied for Tolmas, for the Tolmas Scholars Program, um, i had heard about it. And, you know, uh, I'd heard that it was a great opportunity to get pr some professional work done, and to get work done that uh, could be used on either a resume or a CV. And um, yeah, uh, from there, just applied and, you know, the rest is, uh, hopefully we'll uh, end up talking about that later. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's fantastic. And Professor Rule, tell us a bit about how you got to UNO and what excites you about being at UNO. Yeah, so I, I love UNO. I love uh, the fact that we're a city university uh, that we support, like students that are really trying to make it. Um, we're not, we're not a rich school. Uh, we are, I think, a really blue collar working school, uh, public university. And so I'm really I'm, I was I'm really happy to be here that it's affordable to come. It's uh, you graduate with a low amount of debt. And that's a big deal for me uh, in, in universities in general. So I've been here since 2008. Um, I came I came I'm from Illinois. Uh, I have my degree in printmaking, but I've always been interested in animation uh, and have, have, have slowly kind of gone towards that. And so now. I, I run the digital art lab in the in the art department where we we do a lot of animation, uh, After Effects, motion graphics, uh, Photoshop, et cetera, uh, is is what I do here at uh, at UNO. Great. Tell us a bit about our facilities here at UNO. What kind of equipment, uh, Professor Rule, do you use in your teaching? And Alex, what kind of equipment did you use in the work that we're about to take a look at? Yeah, I'll, I'll go first, Alex. Um, so the, uh, the department has a, a, a lot of great. Uh, actual equipment. We've we've been able to write a lot of grants to get like uh, you know industry standard PCs and Macs. So we have a, P a split PC and Mac lab. Mm -hmm. We have Wacom tablets, uh, the the drawing actually uh, screen tablets, and then we have a green screen room, uh, a really nice print lab, uh, and and it's really just open. We're we're all about experimentation, trying things out. And uh, my classes in particular, 
you can go the direction you want to go. So uh, Alex in general was really good at 2D animation. And so he went that direction. I have other students that are good at 3D and they want to get into 3D animation or UI and UX uh, graph design. And so we have my class is kind of a, a kind of a melting pot of all these students doing all these different things um, uh, is, is kind of how I, I run the program here. That's great. And Alex, tell us about your experience using equipment and facilities in our program. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, like Dan said, I during my time here, I focused on um, learning 2D animation. So a lot of my uh, a lot of my time was spent, you know, in that lab on the on the PCs on, you know, Macs, if I, if I had to use them, I'm, you know, I prefer PC, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, a lot of it, a lot of my time was uh, spent with uh, those drawing tablets and those computers and like being able to use that industry standard equipment was definitely great for me. And it definitely uh, helped inform like what I would need, you know, personally, if I, you know, start doing work on my own. Absolutely. So tell us about this project. What was the genesis of the project? Tell us a bit about what it was like to work together on this and then show us some of this project. Excellent. So um, the, the, the genesis of this project was um, through a compositional piece that Yotam Haber produced and played in, in New Orleans in 2017. And so uh, Yotam used to teach here. And now he's at the University of Missouri, Kansas City at the conservatory, which is like the place to go as a composer. Um, but he was here and we were friends. And I was really I was really drawn to his piece. And then I recently, about two years ago, uh, saw a, a documentary of the work. And I really enjoyed the hearing the sounds again. And so I kind of like had this idea um, of making an animation about that that kind of speaks to all these ideas that I think the piece brings about, um, which is this, you know, the, how the, how plants like live, how they interact, uh, how they love each other, but also devour each other, uh, and just kind of like these 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 kind of deep existential thoughts I have, and I think that the piece sets up. And then what was what was just amazing is that um, with with uh, Alex's help was able to I was actually able to do this in a reasonable amount of time. Um, in that you know I would have some ideas and some sketches and some rough animation. And then Alex could come in and do the finish animation, add some bit of his own style, his own coloring, and then export back to me. And then I'm in After Effects, just putting everything together. Um, and maybe Alex can speak to kind of how he worked too. But um, that that was it was just it was just such a great experience to be able to have support from U the University of New Orleans to pay him to actually work in a project that he would actually work in the in the in the actual creative field that he wants to go into. Wonderful. Um, yeah, uh, working on this project was, uh, it was definitely, uh, eye-opening for me, uh, learning a lot of different techniques and, you know, especially like learning a lot from Dan, um, like basically the, uh, the core of like how I worked was I would get, get the files from Dan, um, and then be sent some, like, you know, just some general settings, like, oh, you know, this brush size, you know. Uh, and then like maybe one or two uh, frames of the animation uh, set up. So that way I would have a reference for like style and everything. Mm -hmm. And then um, from there, it was just, um, you know, me taking it until it was completed uh, and then sending it back to Dan and, you know, sort of sending that back and forth. So that way we could, uh, we could work on it and we could, um, you know, tweak and make sure that everything looked, uh, looked cohesive and up mm -hmm. to standard. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let's see the work. All right. Alex, do you want to share some of your like some of your files first, just to kind of show what like maybe them at the beginning stage? Uh yeah. Give me one second. And then I can show the finished work of whatever whichever ones you show. Like I can just show a little clip of that. Right. Um... Sorry, it's been a minute since I've looked in this folder. <laughs> no, Don't worry. They'll, they'll edit this part out. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> you, can say what, you can say whatever you want. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All Stick right. to our loose script, please. <laughs> Hopefully it comes up. Yes, we can yep. see it. Great. Uh, yeah, so uh, 
with the files that I was sent, this was uh, one of the later files that I worked on. Um, it was sent a uh, basic, you know, animation. I think this is the, this is the finished version of mm -hmm. it, but um, initially what I was sent was, I'm trying to find it. This one. Yeah. So initially what I was sent was this uh, with a few, with a few frames inked uh, and ready to go. And then, you know, through, through working on it and through, you know, using these uh, settings and color and everything, um, I was able to get it to the, uh, the finished version that you can see right here. Yeah, and you actually you have you must you are missing maybe a few files because you actually did a lot. You did the you did not just the inside. You did the outside petals, the colors, uh, and then yeah. sent it back to me. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, like Dan said, there are there are a lot more files than this. Yeah. Um, that I have, but this is just one that I picked to uh to showcase. If uh if you'd like, I can pull up another one. But sure. Yeah. So. Wow. So yeah, this was another uh this was another file, uh really, you know, just small movements, but um, you know, a lot of work going into the uh mm -hmm. the color of it and you know, making sure that everything you know, that everything looks um about like what Dan sends me to uh to approximate, you know, as far as like style and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. No, and Alex was so great. Like he was able to recreate, you know, my vision, which I think uh, just speaks right. to his his talent and his his ability as a animator. So it was great. And it also, once again, it shows the power of these student professor uh, research creative work relationships, right? Because each of you has unique skill sets that you bring to this work that brings it alive. Yes, that's remarkable yeah. to me, Alex. Yeah. I know that it depends upon the individual image we're talking about, but for this image, for example, about how long did it take for you to complete your work on this image that we're seeing here? Uh, so for this image specifically, I think trying to remember it's, it's been a few, it's been like a month or two since I've done this. Yeah, um, it took, uh, I believe from like a few days up to a week, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but for, other smaller files, it would have taken uh, maybe like two two days. Okay. And how, how long did you two work together on this project? From the beginning, the initial conversations that you had to generate the idea to the end product? About how long was that time period? I mean, it was through the, what was it, through the, the spring to the, through the summer, right? Yeah, we, we started in, I think, about February, and then we ended right at the tail end of July. Great. Great. All right. What else do you have to show us? So I can show you some of the uh, actual film if you'd like to yes. see a little bit of that. So, Great. Uh, so it is, it's, I'm just going to show you from film freeway here, uh, which is where, how I show the things, um, but you'll have to go to the film, New Orleans film festival or do the virtual thing to actually see it fully. But I thought I'd show a few of the parts of that. He, that so, so uh, Alex worked on a ton of stuff, like a, like a ton of items throughout uh, this actual animation. And so I'll turn, turn oh, wow. down the side here just a little bit, but here's one that he did, right? And so his 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 contributions are doing the 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 fix up animation, the colorizing, the the um, the frame by frame, and then I'm bringing this into After Effects uh, and adding adding some grain, putting it with the music, etc. And so you know, let's go. I'll kind of show the one that he worked on. Also, uh, I think like here is where that uh, mm -hmm. that that flower like opens up. Yeah, and then I think the other part he had was uh, that he showed was the the flowers hugging. So in this one, the flowers are kind of like hugging each other, um, and just you know, I'm 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 the one putting this into After Effects, setting it to loop, and and putting it to music, kind of deciding where things go uh, is what is what we're doing. Yeah, it's incredible. Thank you. But thank you both for sharing your work and talking about the nature of your work. 
I'm excited to see what happens at the New Orleans Film Festival. Tell me again when, when this is taking place. Well, that's a good question. Alex, you remember in November? It's sometime in November. Okay. Yeah, I know it's early November. I don't have a specific date. Dan, I think I have it right. It's something. November 2nd through 12th. And they're going okay. to announce. So I'll start from the beginning here, uh, Dean Gladden. So okay. the New Orleans Film Festival starts, uh, goes from November 12th, number, November 2nd to the 12th, both in person and virtual. They will soon put out the actual schedule that our film will play at. I am I am told that it will be showing at the Contemporary Arts Center uh, in New Orleans. Wonderful. Well, keep me updated so we can add that to the video caption later on. Again, thank you both so much for your time. Congratulations on this incredible work that you've done. I can't wait to see what happens next. Alex, let us know as your senior year goes on uh, what life holds for you next. Uh, and of course, Professor Rule, I'll be visiting with you as, as we frequently do about your work and opportunities that we have here in the college. Again, I want to thank you two for joining us today. Uh, thank those who are watching uh, this video. And if you'd like more information, we have the links to our social media and to our email and so forth in the caption for this video. So please do get in touch. And with that, let me just once again say thank you. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank Take you. Care. So much.